if you go through and look, sorry, moving around a bunch, and look and see, if you don't change anything, all your minimums, everything over here will be set to like zero, and over here will be like 250, and so therefore this gauge won't have the different colors there, but this way I set it up for my display minimum zero, so when the car's not running, and when I go to fire it up, I'm looking for roughly 33, which puts it right around this range right here, and then my caution minimum. So if I get down to 25 PSI, it's gonna start alerting me. And then my maximum display, the max I want it to read is 100 because I think that's what that gauge will do. Um, and then everything else is kind of self-explanatory. So my normal maximum that I should ever see is 75. If I start to get an 85, it lets me know, hey, pressure's way too high. And then coolant temp sensor, same thing. You just need to know what your temperature sensor maximum is and then um, set your limits on there. So essentially, if you ever hear people saying, yeah, the car is still cold, so I couldn't do X, Y, Z. Well, that's what it is, is because you're setting those parameters in the computer so you don't hurt it. Fuel, same way, normal minimum, maximum 100, normal maximum 65, etc. And then the battery voltage. And, you know, a lot of these numbers I'm still kind of tweaking, but this just lets you know. So that way when the car is running and you start seeing your voltage over here, for some reason, if it starts falling back over here, now you know, all right, something's going on. We're losing charging signal, et cetera, et cetera. Um, map sensor. Um, I didn't touch this one right here just because it's got the stock internal holly that I'm using at the moment. And then the, um, what is that? I think the... Uh, absolute temp or trans transmission temperatures like that, something like that. I can't remember what the hell it is, but for the mat and then speed, um, maximum display speed, etc. So I can go through here. So like display maximum speed is going to be on here. We'll say 160, and then it'll say it's below there. So now automatically it'll change those you know maximum right there. So if I start getting to like my normal max. Let's say like 125, oops, if I say 125, there we go. So now it starts letting me know. So if I'm hauling ass and I start getting to this range right here, and now I know where I'm at. And then caution minimum, I'm not too, too concerned with that. Um, now I could set this right here, for instance, I can set it for five miles an hour, which lets me know, like if I go to put it in reverse, that way whenever I set up the uh, reverse lockout solenoid, It'll be good to go. And then throttle position sensor. Um, this is self-explanatory. 100% pedals to the floor. Zero. That's not. So hopefully that kind of helps you. Uh, 